Hey guys, Zonda here and in this video we are going to talk about this stunning device over here and that is Xiaomi Redmi Pro and we are also going to do a small comparison with Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. Let's start with that camera this time. So Redmi Pro has a dual camera setup, one 13 megapixel Sony camera which is used to take regular photos and another 5 megapixel Samsung sensor which is used to take photos with bokeh effect or to have a very good depth of field. Overall camera quality remains good with good colors. When it comes to low light, it struggles similar to any other budget phone but it yields better results than Redmi Note 3 in my opinion. Now let's talk about that bokeh effect and in order to take photos with this effect you just need to press on this little button and enable this stereo mode. Now you can select the amount of bokeh you want in the image and not only this but you can also change the amount of bokeh after taking the image too which is a good thing in my opinion. When you actually look at the pictures taken with this effect then you will realize that this is more like a fun tool to play around rather than some good bokeh effect because Xiaomi was claiming that this device will give DSLR like performance that's just too much because it seems that the bokeh generated is almost software based and not hardware based as it misses the edges quite often and in almost all the images and in this image it couldn't even differentiate between background and foreground even after having a huge distance between them but overall the camera is slightly better than Redmi Note 3 in both front and red facing departments after this, let's talk about the build quality of this device. When you simply just look at this device, it is for sure eye catchy. With that dual camera setup in the back, people were seriously staring at me and my phone because people do not see dual camera setup on a phone that often. Aluminium unibody design with a small curve in the back, which makes the device comfortable to hold, but it's slippery too due to that metal back. Antenna lines are present in the back, which remind me of some device that I forgot about right now. And yeah, chamfered edges add a great feel to it and the buttons are very tactile with a very good feedback. This device has a 5.5 inch full HD display but it's not just another display, it is an OLED display which produces satisfyingly saturated colors. But my unit has slight yellowish tint which does bother me a little bit when I look at other devices. But my friend said that it looks good to the eye. And I was like, but guys, it's not white, it's a little bit yellowish. Outdoor visibility is fantastic and it is nice to see Xiaomi giving OLED displays in the budget phones. Performance on the Redmi Pro remains smooth overall with that X20 processor which has whopping 10 cores. And with that 3GB of RAM, the performance had to be good on this device. And yes, gaming is also very good on this device with almost all high-end games running absolutely fine. Day-to-day -day life performance with opening apps and all has no issues at all even after having heavily skinned MIUI 8. But there is a split second lag when you press the power button on the lock screen but this issue can be fixed with a software update in the future. MIUI 8 is stable and does not lag on this device. There are tons of features in MIUI 8 and I have made a separate video on the customization options which are present in MIUI 8 and you can watch that video by pressing on the i button over here which will take you to the MIUI 8 customization video. Sound quality of the Redmi Pro via the 3.5mm headphone jack and yes headphone jack is present on this device is very good and when it comes to loudspeaker on this device it is very loud even though it lacks a little bit of bass but that's quite expected because it is a budget device. Fingerprint sensor is present in the front side which is my favorite position and it works super fine. The only issue is that you have to press the home button in order to unlock with the fingerprint sensor but the accuracy remains very good with the device. I was expecting extremely good battery life on this device because of that 4050mAh battery and yes it performs good at least 5 hours of screen on time with moderate usage is possible even though I feel that it can be improved with future software updates and it takes more than 2 hours and 30 minutes to charge this device because there is no quick charge, rapid charge or anything like that present on this device. And yes, 4G works on this device with Geo SIM card and VOLT support is present out of the box so you do not have to worry about that. And this phone has a hybrid SIM card slot which allows you to use two SIM cards or one SIM card and one memory card. But the unit you are looking at right now has 64 GB of onboard storage which is more than enough for me personally. So overall the device is great in my opinion and now let's talk about the comparison with Redmi Note 3. So if you have a Redmi Note 3 and if you are thinking like I should buy the Redmi Pro and dump my Redmi Note 3 then I would say you should not do that. Redmi Note 3 performs exceptionally well. But if you are confused whether to buy Redmi Note 3 or Redmi Pro then I would suggest you to go with Redmi Pro because it has slightly better camera, a far better build quality and a far better display. But if you are interested in custom ROM development uh, then better go with Redmi Note 3 because it has a Snapdragon 650 processor and it has tons and tons of custom ROMs available for that device. And if you are interested in buying the Redmi Pro or if if you are interested in the pricing of this device, 
which I said is budget oriented. Then I'll give the direct link in the description box below. Do not forget to check it out. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, or you can just click on my face, which is up on the screen right now. And if you want to watch more content, then click on the video which is on the left side of this video. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.